Hello and welcome everyone. I'm Ria, one of the product managers here at Plane. This is our first YouTube video and I'm super excited to talk about Plane. So starting with, Plane is a simple, extensible, open source product and project management tool. And to set up Plane for your team, it's super easy. You can either use the free cloud version or you can also self-host Plane on your own servers using Docker. You can find all the instructions about self-hosting Plane here in our documentation. All right, let's dive into how to use Plane for your teams. For that, I'll be using the cloud version to show you a demo. First thing first, you need to create a new workspace in order to get started and to bring in all your team members. As you can see that I have already a workspace with the name Plane Demo created here for me. You can create numerous workspaces using this Create Workspace option. Next is, you can manage multiple teams across Plane by creating numerous projects using this Add Project option, or you can also go ahead with the keyboard shortcut P. Fill in the title for the project, the description, set the emoji, change the cover image for the product, project, and add this project. As soon as you create a project in Plane, you get to see a bunch of features right below it. Our major focus would be on issues in Plane for today's video. Let me quickly dive into issues now. So as you can see that I'm into Plane's issues right now. And issues are basically a piece of work that needs to be done. These issues can either be bug fixes feature enhancement, feature plans, and etc. Once you land into issues in Plane, you can create an issue in Plane using this add issue option, or you can also go ahead with the keyboard shortcut C. Let me create an issue with the name image size validation in profile and workspace. And then you can use this I'm feeling lucky option to auto-generate the description for this issue. So as you can see that the description for this issue has auto-generated here now. You can also see some suggestions from the keywords that you have provided. And then you get to see this AI option. So let me get more content on this. and generate the response. So the AI response has been generated now. And in case if you are satisfied with it, you can either use this response or you can generate another response using this generate again option. So let me actually use this response and then you get to see a bunch of other activities here. So let me pull this to the to-do state with a priority of urgent, assignee as me. Uh, let's say this is a bug for me and then I add a due date to 18th of this month with an estimate point of three and add an issue. So the issue has been created here and you get to see a bunch of other uh, views also for all your issues. So the one you're looking at right now is called the list view where you get to see all the issues arranged in a spreadsheet sort of manner. The next view is a Kanban view where you get to see all the issues arranged in a board view. And third one, is this calendar view where you get to see all the issues available in the dates as per the due dates. You can always customize your calendar view based on the weekly view and enable and disable to show the weekend options as well. Diving back to the list view, you get to see another set of options available here. So you can group by all your issues based on different factors, starting with state, this way, to priority, like this, labels, created by, so this will give you an idea who created what issue. And in case if you want to remove this filter out, you can always use this none option here. But let me put it back to the state and then you can always order your issues based on different factors. You can order your issues manually. You can do it by last created. You can do it by last updated and based on priority as well. 
and then you can choose your issue type as well. Let's say in case if you want to see the active issues only, you can choose out this option. Then for the backlog issues, choose out this option. And then you get to see a bunch of display properties here. So let me quickly enable these display properties. So this is how the list view looks when you dis uh, enable all the display properties and you can actually play around with them. So this sal 31, let me put it to the done state. So now when you dive into the done state here, as you can see sal 31 is still here. So you can also play around with the due dates. Let's say I want to put it as 12th and you can put it as assignee. Let's say if I want the assignee to be me and put an estimate of seven points. So this is how I can play around with the list view. And then switching to the convert view. As book uh, board looks a bit cluttered, let me remove all these display properties except for the assignee and the ID. So now as you can see, there are a bunch of filters that you can filter out your issues on. So let me filter out these issues based on the state to do and all the issues with the to do state have came up here. Let's say if I want to put another assignee, another filter as assignee Rhea, that's me. So all the issues in the to do state with an assignee as me will come up here this way. And let me clear out this filter. And once you click on any issue, you'll get redirected to this issue details page where you can play around with all these properties here. You can change the priority from here and you can set a parent issue for this. Let's say if I want to put this as a parent issue, you can always choose for the blocking and block by issues. You can set the due dates, cycles, modules, labels, everything you can think of. And all these activities are performed here will be logged out here in the activities this way. And you can always add your comments as well. Let's say if I want documentation, I need documentation for this. And I comment it out. So as you can see that I've commented it out here and you can always edit and delete these comments. And then you can add a description from here. Let's say I put it as description saying, let's say, economy Once you click on that option, you'll get to see this uh, pop up open. And uh, let's say if I want to add this as my attachment. And let's say if I want to add it. So as you can see that this attachment is uploading here. And now the attachment has been created here and you can always get a preview by clicking on this icon. And as you can see that this is our plain dots website, which I have converted into a PDF and you can always see these things available this way. Diving back, you can always remove the attachment here and you can always add more. So this is how the issues in plain goes. I'm diving back to the current view. This is the overall idea of how to use issues in plane and what you can do and how to get the best out of issues in plane. Thanks for watching.